Alright, hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to be installing an exhaust on my friend's 2015 Scion TC exhaust and air intake. So uh, we're going to do some before and after clips. So the before clip right now. After one right now. Okay, go. Alright, rev it up. And uh, yeah, so let's get started. Alright guys, so first we're going to give you some interior noises um, for the cold air intake, you know. Alright, now we're going to be doing some exterior shots. Well, uh, he turns around. Alright, so as you guys can see, I mean, for a four cylinder, like a stock four cylinder, I don't think that sounds that bad. So hopefully it'll sound better with the new exhaust. If it doesn't, honestly, I'm going to make him return it. Um, I know a lot of people have done like exhaust stuff. Uh, and like barely changes anything so hopefully you know we'll get the results uh, that he wants you know all right so we're gonna do it inside um rev so go ahead and rev that all right all right now this is from the engine bay for the intake go ahead All right guys, so this is a setup. We have a AEM intake system. As you can see, this way it looks like we already took it apart. So it's not really an unboxing video. We have this thing, don't know what it is. This thing, don't know what it is. We're gonna install it anyways, so <laughs> let's get to it. All right, so we got the air intake off. As you can see, it's like blank right there. It's on the ground right there. Basically what we just did was you gotta remove this, you can just slide this off from the little air tube, whatever you want to call it. This is like the mass airflow sensor. This is a tube for who knows what. Basically, you just got to take that off. And then you got the air, the filter box, whatever you want to call it. We just found these instructions. Pretty easy. Um, now let's get the new stuff in there. So, so far, we've gotten this pipe installed and uh, the bottom part right there um, to fit this giant air thing uh, you have to take the, this little bottom panel off and then uh, you can fit it in there but uh, this is not so much of a how-to video because there's already one by the company AIM AEM so this is just kind of like a review and like just to show you guys that I've never done a air intake before and neither has he just show you guys that it's kind of easy. You follow the steps online and uh, you'll get it done. No worries, like it better sound. <laughs> All right, so we just got it in. You can see the pipes, throttle body, connects the throttle body, goes down here. Um, the air filter's down there. We put the water guard on it. I know it's really hard to see, but uh, he's gonna start up and let's see if there's, uh, if we notice any difference. Probably won't notice that much, but hopefully there's a little something something, you know? Did it did it stop? Yeah. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> so the first time we turned on, kinda stopped. Um that was kinda weird. But uh at least at least we documented it for you guys. <laughs> Alright, go ahead and give it a little rev. You hear it? Yeah, it's just Let's see, go. Dude, there is a noticeable difference. <laughs> wow. All right, so this is just with the cold air intake of the engine bay. Go ahead and turn that on. We don't want to get the engine too hot before we do the exhaust, you know? 
All right, so guys, now we're gonna remove the muffler on it. Um, here's the new exhaust on top of the old air filter. So we got a new muffler from Borla um, and this little pipe fuel stick. So we just unscrewed or unbolted the uh, old muffler. As you can see, um, we installed that one piece and then put it on. But right now we're gonna just see how it sounds without the muffler. <laughs> <laughs> see if it sounds good, because if it does, if it sounds better than the uh, with the Borla, then we're just gonna get it straight pipe, like get the, uh, go to a exhaust shop and get it um, uh, muffler delete professionally installed. How does this lock in? Um, we have to use clamps on this one. Okay, so here's the new exhaust. There's the old one, you can see the difference. Hopefully the new one will look better and sound better. <laughs> All right, so this is, so this is with the muffler off. Uh, let's see, let's see how this sounds. Oh, <laughs> you got here and there. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, that air intake actually sounds. Like it cuts off. It literally like, right when you let go of the throttle, it cuts off. <laughs> hey guys, what's up? We're at the skate park with my boys. Um, they just wanted to hear the car. We got a Porsche, Boxster, um, belongs to him. Uh, there, there's my boy Riley, Brian. You guys, you won't really see them ever again. <laughs> Just, just wanted to show you we're at the skate park, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the vlog light. All right guys, so we just got that new exhaust on there. You can see how it attaches to the exhaust, like the front part, whatever. Curves around and uh, comes out. So there's the Borla S-type exhaust. Um, there's all the exhaust once again. We're gonna start her up and see how she sounds. You guys, if you guys do this, you guys want to put like a gasket sealer thing in there so that there's no exhaust leaks. Otherwise, everything looks good. As you can see, it's a little more quiet than muffler delete. I said, so we started at 12, finished around uh, four. four. So I mean, it took like three to four hours. I mean, we also drove around just to, you know, hear the um, exhaust with the muffler delete. So that kind of had more time. But if you guys do it, typically it'll be around three hours. All right, guys, so we're gonna do a little in shot, um, interior shot of the, with the exhaust and the new air intake. It, I think it does sound better than the straight pipe, definitely. It just sounds deeper. Yeah, deeper and like when you need it, it's loud. You don't really have that noise, and it, there's no drone. There's literally no drone. We're at 3,000. We were at 3,000, you know, just cruising before you upshifted. Um, there's no drone. There's only drone, or there's no drone, but it gets loud when you go above like 4,000 RPMs when you're really pressing on it. Otherwise, you don't really like hear it. So it's pretty good, you know, when you're just driving slow, you don't hear it, but when you want it, you get that. It's not like a noise. tinny, ricey noise. Yeah, it's, it's like a deep. Yeah, it's like a nice, it's like a nice noise. Nice noise. Dude, there is a noticeable difference. 